said the NRM government has already made a long stride in addressing these challenges. The president was today speaking during a meeting that he held with the new World Bank country director, Mr. Felipe Donja, and the bank's new country manager, Mr. Ahmadou Mustafa Ndiaye, who called on him today at State House in Tebe. The meeting that was attended by the Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Honorable Maria Chuanka, the two World Bank officials, and the president, they lived into issues related to the implementation of the development programs that the government of Uganda has prioritized in its quest for the transformation. Mr. Donja assured President M7 that the World Bank will work together with the government of Uganda to ensure that the priority development programs identified by the government are implemented in order to solve the bottlenecks that could still be a hindrance towards Uganda's transformation. According to an economic overview performance report, Uganda has established a record of prudent macroeconomic development and structural reform over the past two decades and was one of the sub-Saharan African countries to embark on liberalization and pro-market policies in the late 1980s. The government has since maintained a stable macroeconomic environment and sustained private sector-oriented reforms that graduated the country into a mature reformer in 2006, growing at 6.3% in 2010-2011.